the aim of today's episode, don't do what you did yesterday. Basically, we were unbeaten until yesterday's episode, then we lost three in a row. So let's not do that today, shall we? We start with West Ham at home, that's a game we can win. Although Tottenham away and Chelsea at home, it's not necessarily going to be easy to avoid yesterday's results. Chelsea third, Spurs fourth, West Ham sixth, us eighth. If we can win all three, highly unlikely, then we could end up third by the end of the episode. Highly unlikely. So let's see what we can do. Fredericks was indifferent in the last episode. I'm probably actually going to give Jamie Shackleton that right back spot back. For this episode, Fredericks. Oh, did I click no then? I wanted to keep continue editing. Fredericks probably is gonna be. Oh, I don't know whether I should sell him or not. I'm... Oh, he's 30 years of age now. He's still quick. Ah, no, we'll keep him for now. But Shackleton's gonna play right back for today's episode and tomorrow's episode. And then when Emerson joins us on January the first, he'll be in that slot as we head into the transfer window. And then we look, of course, for a centre back. So West Ham, Tottenham, Chelsea today. Three London sides for us with Leeds and then Stoke, Villa, Sheffield United and Forest tomorrow. I'd like to get some points, please. We went 10, we went 11 games unbeaten. We won seven games of those 11. We now haven't won for five and have lost three of them. Up form, down form, up form again, please. All right, the side that we're hoping to hammer. Unai Simone in goal. Rodriguez, Ogbonna, Balbuena and Masuaku. Jack Wilshire and Declan Rice holding. Yamalenko, Fornals and Felipe Anderson. All three sat behind Yaya Sinogo again. They keep playing Yaya Sinogo at striker, West Ham. I don't know as that's ever been a good idea, but we shall wait and see. Divock Origi takes that in his stride well. And we'll look for Alan Samaximan, who's currently on the opposite wing. Look, find, looks for and finds Tyler Roberts. Oh, and Ogbonna seemed rather uninterested. Thank you, says Jared Bowen. Uh, inexplicable defending there. Jared Bowen has been popping up with uh, quite a few goals for us in the past couple of episodes. Unfortunately, they, they haven't led to positive results. But look, watch Ogbonna here. Tyler Roberts drives and then it's, it's like he leaves it for the number four. He's like, right, Balbuena, you've got this. You deal with that. And then in the end, he's in no man's land. The shot initially is saved by Unai Simon, but there's Jared Bowen to tuck it home. His fourth or fifth goal? Fourth goal of the Premier League season so far. That is better. Are we already seeing an uptick in form from yesterday? Rice over the top. Felipe Anderson brings it down. Isla Vatar. Tell you what, Jamie Shackleton has been particularly useful at right back. Emerson will be better. And I think it might spell the end of Ryan Frederick's time at the club. This is his former team, of course, in West Ham. Rigi looking for Sam Maximan, but can't get it to him. I tried to change players to Malassi there, and it wouldn't let me. We'll give him the ball anyway. And then Sam Maximan, he's still there down the line, and we'll find him this time. we we'll have to go backwards. If we can find a quick second, that'd be brilliant. Oh, it's a lovely turn by Rigi, and he's passed off Bonner, and he sets himself up. Oh, Balbuena! Brilliant defending. That was destined for the back of the net. And Balbuena has ensured that West Ham is still in touch in this game. That was superb defending, as was that from Jamie Shackleton. I'm starting to wonder why I even bother buying a new right back. But I certainly would like to use Jamie Shackleton more as a midfielder than as a defender. But knowing that he can definitely do a job at right back certainly opens up more opportunities in the first team for him moving forward. Oh, we could have been 2 0 up there, and we very nearly were. Nice ball into Wall Prowse. Go Origi first. Tyler Roberts is there. On Tyler. Then Origi. Bit of space. Let fly. Bosch. Leads to West Ham nil. This is what we were used to at the beginning of the season. Oh, I'm recording this episode right after recording the last one. So I. Clearly not in bad FIFA form because I'm recording it the same day. In fact, within half an hour of finishing the other one. I just cannot explain to you what happened in yesterday's episode. We just did not get the rub of the green. A number of occasions where the luck was against us. On this occasion, today, in this episode thus far, we are back to our fighting best. Although it is only West Ham 
with all due respect. And we do have Tottenham and Chelsea to come. So I won't get too carried away. There's still a lot to do in today's video. Rodriguez. Oh, that was questionable. Not sure about that decision. To curate back to Tyler Roberts, forward to Origi, and Jared Bowen is arriving in support at pace. Really at pace. Oh, Masuaku, really strong in the tackle. Hornells. I'm not sure Ben White out of position here slightly. Felipe Anderson has runners in front of him. Masuaku wishing for it from left back and causing me problems here. Jamie Shackleton a little bit out of his depth with three people to try and mark. Thankfully, the cross in was pretty poor. Roberts across to Decore, back to Roberts. Origi's there, spin and hold off the man. All spin and get fouled by Wilshire. I don't know whether Divock Origi... Oh, what? A straight red for Jack Wilshire? There's, there's barely a foul there. Some of the red cards we've been getting this season have been outrageous. Um, West Ham down to 10 men, 10 minutes into the second half. I was about to say, I don't know whether Divock Origi is brilliant at drawing fouls or just has terrible balance. But he's gone down again there and it's cost West Ham a man, let alone potentially the game, if Tyler Roberts buries this, which he hasn't quite been able to do. 2-0 up against 10 men. This surely now has to be a very, straw, very straightforward three points. Origi into Dukure, out to Jared Bowen. In the middle, Dukure. I don't think he scored for me yet, has he? Oh, and he still hasn't. Sam Maximan can't quite get to that quickly enough. Dukure desperately unlucky not to get his first goal for the club there. Pretty sure he hasn't scored for me yet anyway. Not that he's in the team to score goals. He's in the team to break play up. Although now he's getting the opportunity to come slightly further forward with Riedeveld playing in that CDM stay back whilst attacking role and Dukure having the license to push forward and immediately he's trying to have an impact taking advantage of the lack of responsibility desperately unlucky not to get his first goal of the season 10 minutes to go still 2-0 but we are waltzing to an easy victory now not that it was particular oh, why have you done that then Dalbert why I don't really know why he's tried that didn't ask for a flare pass Waltzing towards an easy victory, not that it was too difficult prior to the red card. We were strolling as it were, and we've not necessarily broken stride since. Dian Garner looped forward towards Yaya Sonogo. Acrobatic by Nkulu, not necessarily needed, but Decorio will sweep that there to Josh King, will turn well. Find Divock Origi, he'll go again there, Josh King. And Jared Bowen is running alongside me. King to Origi, to King again. He's doing well here. He's been fouled, I think. Well, the referee doesn't give anything for that. Oh, all right, suit yourself. Well, the final whistle's going to go anyway. Thanks for the three points. Cheers then. 2 0 win against West Ham. We will take that and run with it. Oh, it's nice to be back to winning ways. How long it'll last, I'm not sure, because Tottenham is the next team we face. They've just drawn away from home against Leicester. I believe we go down to North London for the next game and then Chelsea come to us, but I'm not sure. There wasn't much beside between us. We were... No, was... of the three, that's probably the best option there. We're able to close the game out before half-time. Oh, they made it easy for us by getting Jack Wilshere sent off, certainly. And Balbuena was decent, to be fair... He was very good and denied us a second goal when it was just 1-0 with a brilliant goal line clearance. Unfortunately for them, they still lost and it didn't matter. You wanted to let me know something, did you? Speculation around you in the starting lineup. Uh, lineups change every week, Ryan, but you might well be leaving us moving forward. I'm proud of Ben White. He's been spectacular. I know I've said it multiple times. I will continue to say it. I absolutely love Ben White in this save. Engel up to 79 rated. Growing tremendously well still. And hopefully we'll continue to do so. Could really do with that positioning being slightly better though. Because he still is a little bit questionable from time to time. With regards letting goals go in from odd angles. Match rescheduled in February. Spurs by a day. Not sure about that. We are away against Spurs. And we are at home against Chelsea. Yeah, we did get it right. Why our manager rating has dropped to 69, I'm not sure. Probably because we're now out of a Europa League spot. Or whether the, maybe they're still pissed at me for not doing anything youth development wise. But we're seventh and out of a Europa League spot. FA Cup we're still in because we haven't played in that yet. 
the prize money, we haven't had the opportunity to win anything yet. Outside of the Carabao Cup, which we lost. But we don't care about that anyway. So let's see what we can do then in this next game against Tottenham Hotspur. All right, Tottenham, Hugo Lloris in goal for them. Carl Walker-Peters, Vertonghen, Joachim Anderson and Ben Davies. Might be Joachim, actually. Tangen Nobele and Musa Sissoko, Lucas Moura, Eriksson and Son. Kane, maybe. Harry Kane up top. So other than Anderson, that's a very familiar Tottenham team. They don't appear to have done much in three and a half seasons worth of transfers. Tottenham. Well, we know what to expect from them then. Let's see if we can get the better of them. Oh, I was pretty comfortable for Malasia. Lucas Moura just ran into me there. Roberts quickly forward. I am worried about the lack of strength in our team with big players like Yang Vertonghen, Musa Sissoko and Tangi Ndombele in their starting lineup. I'm worried about Human Son on the left-hand side as well. And, of course, the devastating Harry Kane up top. They're such a good team, Tottenham. And despite the fact they haven't really strengthened throughout the course of this save, they're still going to be very, very good. Eriksen with their first effort. Slightly acrobatic, slightly wide of the target, but... They mean business, as ever. But so do we. And we turn things around against West Ham. And we'll try and do something similar against Tottenham. Nobele is no slouch, though. And he's keeping up with me with me well. Oh, just as they had an effort go wide. As have we now. Son. Forward there to Harry Kane. And into Musa Sissoko. Not sure which defender to draw out of position here. I'm going to have to pull someone away from the right area to be on the pitch and Lucas Moura driving in those shadows and really bright sunlight is causing me some problems there Malassia's done well Walker Peters is not the fastest as far as I'm aware at least he's definitely not faster than Alan Sam Maxi Man I'm going to look for Tyler Roberts here I'm not going to find him I'm going to get James Ward Prowse instead blocked well by Anderson let's try and keep the ball Roberts looking for Sam Maxi Man he's spun well again Walker Peters with remarkable acceleration there and they've won it back again. Or at least gotten it clear for the time being. Tyler Roberts. Good run by James Ward Prowse. Didn't quite react in time to that to get it to him. Jared Bowen. Down onto his right hit. Then back to his left. And we lead by a goal to nil. Superb from Jared Bowen. His fifth goal of the league season. Now, brilliant turn onto his right to fall one defender. And the drag back to fall another. And a sharp finish too. We lead in North London. Yesterday really was just one off day, I think. Because we're killing it today. Kane. Down the line to Son. Through the gap. But Shackleton cuts it out nicely. Roberts around the corner to Wall Prowse. They're not committing too many men forward. There's always at least one of the two CDMs sat holding. To try and ensure they don't ca get caught on the counter-attack too badly. But Tyler Roberts has pace. Jan Vertonghen sticks with me somehow. And he's able to get rid of that. Corner by James Ward Prowse. Divock Origi underneath it. There were so many tall people. And Kulu lays that to Roberts. It might fall for Bowen. He's kept it in. Origi just need a teammate. Oh, it's Ben White that it falls to. And I'd already committed to shooting because I thought it was someone else. Ah, never mind. No second goal yet. But we are playing well and looking dominant in this one. So pleased with the turnaround in form from yesterday. Such a relief. But it appears to have just been a one-off. Sissoko. Back to Ndombele. They haven't been as powerhouse-like as I expected them to be in the middle of Sissoko and Ndombele. Here's Walker-Peters. Back there to Ndombele. Could cross it. He could go down the line. Oh, he's dug out a really good cross. And that might fall for Kane. Oh, son. What a finish. Engel tried his best. Harry Kane in the mix. Devilish cross from Ndombele. And he's tried his best there, Engel. But he just didn't get enough distance on it. He's fallen straight to Son, who could... Well, to be fair, he could have missed. But he's hit that disgustingly well. And into the back of the net it flies. Tottenham are level. They're not out of it yet. I've just made substitutions. They've made substitutions too. This could yet turn on its head. Lovely ball out to Hume and Son. It might be turning on its head immediately. Drops the shoulder. Back to Ben Davies. Nicely intercepted by Jarrod Bowen. Work it away. But we're going to have to be careful because they're pressing really high and really quickly now. And Kane, phew, very, very nearly scores 
a second for Tottenham. Ericsson to deliver the corner. Oh, Jamie Shackleton. We had a goal line clearance against West Ham from Balbuena. And that is why you have a man on the post. It might actually have been going wide from that angle. But it looked like it was on its way in from this. Wow. Tottenham have just turned up out of nowhere in the past half an hour. The game has come to life. Son, Ericsson, Son again. It's Christian Ericsson again. Dinked in and away by Ben White, please. Daryl Bowen wins that head of well. And the counter is on. And Adama will have the pace to get away here. I hoped at least. Origi. There goes Josh King. He can get away. He's quite quick too. He's certainly quicker than Jan Vertonghen. Josh King drops his shoulder. Looks back there for Takure. Here's Calvin Phillips to Takure again. To Adama. And there's a third. Not third. A second. We're back in front. Adama Traore off the bench. Grabs a goal. He's the one that started the counter on the left-hand side. Finds himself on the right-hand side of the box as we end the move. And we do find ourselves back in front at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Had to be a little bit patient there. Find the right pass at the right time. But he has lashed that home. Just as Hugo Minson did. Only this time there was a goalkeeper in the way. Hugo Lloris can't keep it out. And we're in front again. 12 minutes to go. Tottenham's fight back is falling flat. Walker Peters lifts the ball over the top. Oh, dearie me. I tried to knock that forward with the header from Malasia, and it went backwards. Josh King. We hit them with one final counter attack, maybe. Adam was on his run. Jared Bowen was doing the same. Josh King seemingly wants to go all on his own, though. We will give it to Adama now. Drop the shoulder. Oh. Walker Peters just gets to the ball. But they're not going to have time to go at the other end now. Too little, too late for Tottenham. 2-1 leads. It's normally Tyler Roberts that scores against Tottenham, but not on this occasion. Oh, man. That was tough. It's always the tease, isn't it, against Tottenham? That was tough. Jared Bowen with the goal. Tyler Roberts got a yellow card instead. Adama Traore. Well, it still was a tee, I guess. Traore getting the winner for us. We had enough chances. Oh, we've bounced back from yesterday. City have lost! Seems! Is that their first loss? Is that their first game that wasn't a victory? I'm not sure. He managed to win a close match with a decisive goal. We were the better team, certainly, on that occasion. We managed to turn the tide. Oh, I trusted we'd give it all. What is it with the tees when we play Tottenham? Son was one of the best players. Son was very good. We can learn from him. Hopefully we can sign someone of his quality at some point in this save. Is that City's first defeat? It is. It's the first game they haven't won. Is the City crumble about to come? 15 wins in a row, then one defeat against Liverpool. They're not giving up on this title. We're up into sixth and only a point outside the top four now, with Chelsea to play next, although it's midweek and it's not going to be easy. We are going to have to rotate the side a little bit because I imagine that not everyone is going to be at full fitness. But Adama's come off the bench there. and oh, Come on, controller. Adama's come off the bench there and made an impact. So he's probably earned himself a start in this next one. Jared Bowen, I can't even consider dropping because he's been playing really well and scoring goals. Sam Maximin will probably take out for Adama then. Let's give Jamie Shackleton a start ahead of James Ward-Prowse and maybe Calvin Phillips for Decore as well. But other than that, probably good enough and fit enough to start as is. Inconsistent results of late. Um, I expect better on my players. It's our responsibility to try. It won't, be easy. it won't be easy to get in the top six. Never is, but we will try our best. A close call is a learning opportunity. I can't remember what the result was last time we played Tottenham. Well, last time we played Chelsea even. Mixed bag recently, yes, but you'll see what we're made of. We've certainly bounced back. Two victories in a row now after three defeats on the trot. Chelsea at home coming up next. Slightly rotated 11 from me. But still should be very, very strong. In fact, I might give Delbert a run out ahead of Malassia as well. Let's move Shackleton in there and move Fredericks to right back. And then Calvin Phillips in there. And do I give Reid about a game? Probably not. Probably not. Let's give Augustan a start too. Right, come on then, Chelsea. What have you got? Kepa in goal for Chelsea. No surprise there. Aspi, Cody, Zuma, Bakayoko at left back. Pulisic holding with Kante. Moses, Barkley, Emerson at left wing. With Josef Martinez up top. What a strange Chelsea lineup. Very strange. I don't understand that. Fans are in good voice here at the beginning of the game. Zonke okay, Vinalgastan could set up a chance. Adama. 
Sean Kevin might score a chance. Bang, he has. In the sixth minute by a couple of seconds. It's about time he got himself on the score sheet. He's not played anywhere near as much this year as he did last because Dibba karigi has been decent. But when he has played, he hasn't impressed. On this occasion, though, he couldn't have made a bigger impression, could he? 1-0 up. Inside there to Christian Pulisic. He may be playing in central midfield, but he's certainly willing to get forward. Engel makes a good save there to deny Martinez an instant response for Chelsea. Really inexplicable starting lineup for Chelsea. Why they're playing so many players out of position, I'm not sure. It's not like they don't have the squad for it. They had Jorginho on the bench, so they could easily have played him in midfield. Bakayoko was at left back, so he could have played at centre mid as well. And Emerson is playing on the left wing. Why would you not play Pulisic left wing, Emerson at left back, and then Bakayoko or Jorginho through the middle? I can't say as I understand that, but we can only play what's put in front of us. And so far, what's put in front of us is actually trying to fight back, but they haven't yet found the target, let alone scored a goal. Bowen through to Tyler Roberts. Pace to get in behind. Can't taste no slouch, but Adama's there on the far side. Oh, he's hit it straight at Kepa. Anywhere but there. And that's 2-0. Delivery from Bowen is decent. Away by Zuma, though. Oh, who's going to get to that first? Pulisic does. He's been so tricky to play against in the past, but in a different role, I don't think he's going to be as frustrating to uh, try and keep quiet. Let Nkula get back in position by moving Fredericks out here. Barkley and Kante linking up. Chelsea being good going forward. As have we so far, but they've given it away there. Now Adama is going to have the legs on as Pete. Certainly. And he's in here. Adama Traore mm, must do better. Can't believe he's not scored yet in this game. Can't say. Barkley. Breaking for Chelsea. Here's Victor Moses. There's no need for these flare passes from the AI. You're 1-0 down, lads. Don't get cocky. Oh, Ben White. What a challenge. They may not have had a goal-scoring opportunity from that move, but for that tackle alone, I will leave that highlight in. Unbelievable. That is a goal-stopping for sure, challenge from Ben White. Barkley was just going to smack that home if left alone. And somehow, Ben White has gotten back to him and put in one of the best tackles I think I've ever had from any defender. Not that that has stopped Ross Barkley from scoring anyway. <sighs> and it was Ben White that was with him. <sighs> it's a good turn by Barkley. Ben White gets a foot in. He's fallen kindly for Ross Barkley, to be fair. White did really well. Did get a block on the initial turn, but it couldn't have fallen kinder for Barkley. And if he pulls his shirt there, Ben, then it's going to be a penalty. We've seen penalties given for us with shirt tugs this season. And we could have seen one given against us there. Regardless, they have scored here, Chelsea. And they're back on level terms. Tottenham did the same, though. And it didn't give them victory in the end or even any points at all. Let's hope for a similar outcome in this one. It's going to be 1-1 at half-time, though. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to work something else here in this first half. Unless Adama can get in behind, which he can. Now, can we pull this back to a teammate? No. Barkley forward to Martinez. Up wide there to Emerson. Could go for the 1-2. Barkley has done. Good footwork. Oh, I'll tell you what, he's doing a decent job at left wing, Emerson. He's found Kante. What a finish. And Golo. First time. Emerson's destroyed me on that far side there, like absolutely well and truly. And how Kante is allowed to be on his own there, I've no idea. Calvin Phillips is not looking even remotely to be in the right position there. And Kulu's tried to get to it, can't. Calvin Phillips is on his own. And Golo Kante is on his own. Do some marking, Calvin. Cheers, mate. 2-1 Chelsea. We're behind. Shackleton with the throw. Ward prowls across to Calvin Phillips. There's Adama. Trying to get a bit of footwork. As Pete. Hmm. Moses into Pulisic. Or there to Kovacic. Can Calvin Phillips get a foot in? No is the answer. Morata out wide there to Dalbert. To As Pete, sorry, being closed down by Dalbert. He's holding on well. Oh, throws himself to the ground. 
Kante with a free kick for Chelsea. And that's woeful. He might be able to keep that in though, Christian Pulisic. And it's done well to do so. And the delivery in is good. Oh, Jesus, Ben White nearly scored an own goal. Oh, dearie me. Nearly headed that into his own net then. If it weren't for Engel being alert. Cody, that's gone straight to Engel, luckily for me. Chelsea pushing for this third to try and finish us off. I hope they're not going to be able to, though. I really want to get at least a point out of this. With the way that results have gone today and performances too, it'd be devastating to lose one of today's three games after really making marked improvements again against Tottenham and West Ham. But there's only eight minutes to try and turn this around. And so far, it doesn't look like we're on course to score that second goal. But maybe here, Josh King and Adama, or Josh King and Maxi Mount, maybe. Here is the Frenchman. Drops the shoulder well. It's just not got much space. That's the only thing. Alvin Phillips can't take it to me quickly. Phillips can't regain his balance. I was trying to get that to James Ward Prowse. Moses across the Kovacic. Can they kill me off on the counter? It's got Emerson across there. Oh, ben White steps in. Calvin Phillips does the same, but a foul's going to be given. Mm. It's just not... It's not going for me in this one. This feels like yesterday all over again. Oh, no, it's gone straight to Wengel. Right, come on. It needs to be now if we're to do something. Oh, Calvin! Come on, mate. Yes, Alan. Oh, it's Adama. I keep getting Adama and Alan Max... Alan San Maximum mixed up. Oh, Reese James, where have you come from? Damn you and your fresh legs. That's game, then. That's going to be Chelsea beating us. By two goals to one. Unless now. Unless now. Come on, Jean-Kevin. Just keep running. Just keep running for the time being. Get around back, Ioko. And I need the right pass. I've got Adama in there. Oh, and Reese James is in the way. It's the only option I really had. And it's the 2-1 defeat at home against Chelsea. <sighs> I think we could be pleased enough with the overall points haul today. Ah, oh, man. I'm still disappointed to have lost that game. I would have loved to have taken a point. Just to stop Chelsea getting that little bit further away from us. Because the more teams that beat us that are in and around us, the more difficult it's going to be. Uh, Rigi could be wrong. Well, Alvistan scored the goal, so it's not like he played poorly. Um, not at all. Not so much. Not so much. I wouldn't say not at all. They did have more chances than me. Uh, we played well, but it wasn't enough, is what we'll say there. Confidence is still high at the club, which is good. Morale will still continue to improve. A transfer for Jara Riedewald of 8.6 million, which we will reject. He's still a good squad player, which is what we bought him for in the first place. I expect more, Jean-Kevin, but well done for stepping up to the plate and scoring a goal on that occasion. We're still 7th then, or did we drop there? Goal been rescheduled. Presume that's for the FA Cup. Don't tell me that's been drawn at the end of December. Christ alive, it has. Well, well, tomorrow's episode will still have Stoke, Villa, Forest and Sheffield United. But then as we enter the January transfer window, we'll have Preston and Aston Villa before then Burnley, Bournemouth and Crystal Palace after that, I think. Oh, we're still seventh. We're still only three points away from fourth. But Chelsea getting that win over us. They could have been on 37 and we could have been on 34 if that just, or even just a draw. Us on 32 and them on 38. The top four is still very much a possibility. City have won again. But I think any higher than fourth is looking unlikely right now. But to be fair, we weren't setting our sights on any higher than fourth at the beginning of the season. It was only because we started so well that we actually let ourselves dare to dream. Unfortunately, daring to dream... Those dreams have turned slightly away from the sweetest possible, but they're certainly not a nightmare yet. We shall continue to dare to dream moving forward, and hopefully things will go well for us between now and the end of the season. Tomorrow, though, four big games. Four games we should be getting good points hauls from. Let's do that tomorrow. I'll see you then.